Rice is just so well known for its work in nanotechnology. So when I was asked to come down to Rice University, it was such a cool honor. I jumped at the chance. This was not actually meant to be a super bouncy ball. If you get something more like slime, if you get something like that, that's perfect. Nano Academy, what you see in here are the teachers who have been researching at Rice University. The main research has been on nanotechnology and they've been with us researching, uh, coming up with new ideas to make new lessons for students in the Houston area. Make sure you have your information. We have about five minutes before we present. At first, I was kind of hesitant because I didn't know how exactly I would bring it into my classroom because we do a lot of science, of course, but it's more high school science, not college level science. So um, at first, I was hesitant, but just being able to talk to other teachers and get ideas from them, I was able to get really good ideas about how to incorporate into our science fair and into these project-based learning projects for the entire semester. This is a soapy ball. Ooh. I worked over the summer in a chemistry lab. And from that, me and Mr. Taylor uh, developed our lessons from our experience in the lab. I made my lesson about polymers and um, grouping the polymers together to make uh, bouncy balls. Gordon. So um, what I actually did is I told them um, about my experience when I came back the next year. I also put up my posters that we presented um, during the symposium and they had tons of questions. I had students that were going into science fair that wanted to know how to make the poster. Um, I had students that wanted to know about rice. I had students that wanted to know about um, college life, like what they could go into, what they could study. It was great. So they got to see real world application of what we talk about in class. And that's really beneficial to them. The goal here is for to help students understand some, some idea of what nanotechnology is and how that's, can, that can be applied and how it's being applied now today and how that could be in the future some kind of job market that they can start looking into actually research on themselves. Rice takes care of teachers, students, and they support us as well. 